Let's talk about Bryce Young and being benched as a number one overall pick quarterback and just how disappointing he has been. But first, make sure if you like to bet on sports and you're in a state that doesn't allow it, check out Rebet. Rebet is the first sports book that's using like sweepstakes to be able to um, bet on sports. You can use real money and on Rebet using promo code on tap, you will get a hundred percent bonus on your first deposit. You, the way it works is you use, you deposit, say $50, you get something called Rebet cash and that Rebet cash. Once you win a bet, let's say you win a $50 Rebet cash bet, you can actually convert it to real cash and deposit it to your account. It's called a sweepstakes, but it's the only way you can bet on sports in multiple states, including the state of Washington, California, and Texas. So let's talk about Bryce Young. Bryce Young is a guy who has been absolutely awful. Uh, we talked about him. He's been on our Three Stooges. He's been so bad that he's already lost his job through two weeks of his second season in the NFL. Sad, yes. Deserved, also yes. Um, we want, I want to kind of go through this and look at the first overall draft picks in the last, you know, however long it's been, including Bryce Young. And I feel bad for the dude. He's been awful. He's said he's upset, but I mean, the only way to fix that is actually by playing. And we don't need to go all the way back. But let's talk about number one overall pick quarterbacks. Caleb Williams so far this year. Well, I saw a stat today that no court first round draft pick quarterback so far this year has thrown a touchdown pass through two weeks on 196 pass attempts. The jury's still out on Caleb Williams. Bryce Young, he has already lost his job. He's been horrible. I don't have to come here and tell you all the stats, but he's been the worst quarterback in the NFL so far this season. Trevor Lawrence, 2021. I can't quit him, personally. I love Trevor Lawrence, but he's been a huge disappointment, let's be honest. At first, I thought he salvaged it. He won a playoff game. He started off, I think, eight and three or seven and three last year. And ever since then, it's been an absolute disaster. I don't understand how and what is going on in Jacksonville. 2020, Joe Burrow. He got to his Super Bowl, but he's been also injured a lot. And I don't know, you know, how healthy Joe Burrow ever will be. 2019, Kyler Murray, also injured. Since 2019, injury, injury, 2018. Baker Mayfield, he's on his fourth team. But now it looks like he has salvaged his career. 2016, Jared Goff. He's had a good career, but also the first team that drafted him gave up on him. 2015, Jameis Winston. He's a backup for the Cleveland Browns, even though I do love him. I love me some Jameis Winston. 2020, Andrew Luck. He had it. I swear to God, Andrew Luck had it. <laughs> I love Andrew Luck. Injuries forced him to retire early. 2011, Cam Newton. And now when you hear that, like 2012, Andrew Luck, and then 2011, Cam Newton, you're like, well, probably by now, Andrew Luck would be a veteran in this league and almost, you know, towards the end of it. It's been six years since he's been retired. Pretty crazy. Uh, Cam Newton, good career. He went to a Super Bowl. Sam Bradford bounced around the league. Matthew Stafford, there we go. 2009, last first overall pick to win a Super Bowl. But he had to do it on a different team. Joe Marcus Russell, 2007, maybe the biggest bust ever. 2005, Alex Smith bounced around the league, had a good career, but bounced around the league. 2004, Eli Manning. He was the last other than Matt Stafford, number one overall pick to win a Super Bowl. 2003, Carson Palmer had a good career, but not amazing. David Carr. Never panned out. Michael Vick, 2001. I mean, legal troubles kind of derailed what could have been maybe. And the last, oh, we'll take a look at it. Tim Couch, 1999. He played, what, one or two years as a quarterback for the Cleveland Browns? I feel bad for the Browns, by the way. And then 98, Peyton Manning. Like, did you see, like, all the accolades? We have to go all the way to Peyton Manning in 1998 as the first overall pick to have these huge of accolades. I know Eli was great, won Super Bowls, great player. Stafford's been great. But the last number one overall pick, it was like a can't-miss prospect to actually like hit, hit, hit. 
was Peyton Manning. So all my point is here is, yes, it's great to have the number one overall pick in the hope of a franchise and know that you're going to get, hopefully, a franchise quarterback. But a lot of times, well, simply and unfortunately, too, they just don't pan out.